Welcome to the Seller Roundtable e-commerce coaching and business strategies with Andy Arnott and Amy Wees. Really quick, uh, Peter, um, we don't want to keep you for too long, but um, what are, can you give us some examples? I know it's ballpark, so we're, we're telling everybody it's ballpark, uh, you know, numbers wise. Can you give us like an example of like one of your policies, just so people kind of know, like, you know, kind of uh, what they would deal with, uh, you know, cost wise and what kind of policy you would suggest or policy? <laughs> um, so non-baby, non-toys. Oh, look, I got a baby one the other day, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, go, go it for wasn't, the Yeah, over, over, uh, uh, under, under promise and over deliver. <laughs> yeah, that's it exactly. Yeah, it and, oh, well, number. it wasn't too bad. But, well, there's so many different baby things. Right. I right. mean, all right, I'll, I'll tell, I should tell the people. Anything you put a baby in, yeah, righto, you're going to have to take out your checkbook. You, we could probably get your cover. But if you if you carry the baby in the backpack, the front pack, you put it in the chair, like these things that you strap to the to the kitchen dining chair that boosts your baby up, and oh my goodness, like you know, yeah. Yeah. I, I know the numbers look really good, guys, but there's a reason. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> it's almost as bad as selling beauty products, right? If it goes on the body or in the body, avoid it. Now, and if, you know, if if it, if it holds the baby, if the baby goes in or on the product, just expect yeah. expect to work that into your business plan and your margins, <laughs> because insurance be is going to be a little, yeah, a little yeah. higher. If, you know, if you want to be a hippie. And put those amber amber teething things around your child's things is going to help with teething, and kind of be cool. Uh, don't don't think oh this is a great idea and they're not on Amazon and go and order two thousand of them because they're actually banned on Amazon. You're not allowed to sell amber teething baby products. So I know everyone would check that in their due diligence, but guys check things out because there are, there are some things that catch people. All right, I can't so, tell um, you how I, many. I think there's it. So this is Aussie dollars. Um, it was close to two thousand, so maybe like eighteen fifty or something for a baby product the other day. Um, I had someone in kitchen and hardware who was a bit. This is Aussie dollars, yeah. Um, and that's the worldwide policy too. So they have the one policy. They can sell that anywhere around the world, and it'd be Amazon compliant and the insurance company will cover them on all of the platforms with all of the things fully disclosed. So just to give you the background on those prices, made in China, 100% of the turnover out of the USA, because um, the US is, they're scared of the US the most, yeah? Because you guys sue one another, right? So the insurer's like, oh God, US. Oh, we'll give, we had one insurer said, we'll do everywhere else in the world, but not USA. I'm like, well, that's only one I want. <laughs> Do me a discount for just USA. They're like, no, 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 that doesn't work that way. Um, but look, yeah, so the price is, let's call it somewhere between 1500 and two grand. Okay. And, um, Andy, please just let me just say this to people based on turnover, based on what it is and that sort of thing. Um, people who are selling riskier things, things that go in the mouth and, uh, Goodness me, there's a story the other day of a person who killed themselves with a stainless steel straw, tripped over and the stainless steel straw went through her eye and into her brain. And I would imagine the price on stainless steel straws might have gone up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't checked. But uh, oh, look, hoverboards and things like that that are causing people to go through walls, they go on fire. There's a lot of open court cases on those. Stay away from you know, electric skateboards where you have the remote control and you know, stand on that thing, they're hard. Anything like, like common sense, if there's something where you think people might hurt themselves, burn themselves, somewhat, somewhat sue you for, you're going to pay more. Andy, more is, I've had a few five or $10,000 ones, um, but the person's been doing, you know, 50, 100 grand a month type numbers. And they, they really sit there and they look at that and they think, you know, if I pay by the month and I can see that things can go wrong, because you can pay your insurance by the month and it's not much, it's not, it's like a normal 
percent, it's single figure percentages. It's not usually less than 5%. It's like not, not much more. So that can help them with their turnover. But when they're doing 50 or 100 grand a month and they're getting serious and they're going through these hurdles now. So it was something where the insurer would cover them, but they needed to have the, the safety requirement met. And once it was compliant, the insurer would take on the insurance. Yeah, and I'm sure you get that. Because, I mean, it makes sense, correct? If, if Walmart, Kmart, et cetera, are selling baby chairs, baby uh, what are you, pacifiers, you know, they're selling bottles and all sorts of things where a kid could hurt themselves, they've got big corporate cover somewhere. So smaller businesses must be able to get cover as well. So the answer is yes, you'll pay for it. If your business has grown to the size where you can bring it in, you need to take that into your business plan. And I think also, Andy, with the, this point about Amazon now realising that they could get drawn into the... Because before they used to say, their argument was, we don't sell it. The third party seller person sells it and we don't manufacture it. We're just a platform to offer all these products to people. Don't draw us into a product liability case. And after that finding, so the person went to court in Philadelphia, um, they go, said, no, 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 we're sticking with Amazon. Amazon's just the intermediary. They said, well, we're going to federal court. So they went to federal court and federal court said, well, actually, this is not a normal marketplace because Amazon won't let the buyer talk to the seller. They block communication. So there can't be a free flow of questions. And therefore, the um, Amazon needs to accept some sort of responsibility as being the seller. So that's, that's legally what this new term and change means. So California's already taken this on board. So any of you guys who are following or listening to this and you are California-based sellers, your priority is actually the highest. So, there you go. <laughs> so you go check with that agent of yours. He's going to be going, who the heck was this guy you talked to in Australia? Um, <laughs> and you know what I find too is and this is another great point just for you guys when you think about it how many insurance agents are going to have their head around Amazon because man this thing's not simple like what I found was when I search for people to set up this broker network with is the best agents are agents who sell on Amazon as well because they understand all the complexities of it I mean we take for granted that I understand what a 3PL even stands for. Even FBA, MOQ. I mean, most insurance agents, man, they're just used to insuring a shoe shop or a, you know, a guy with a truck. And I wear, we're a bit of a niche here. So I think um, dealing with the right person and getting someone who actually understands what the heck you're talking about is an important point. That's all great information, Peter. Yeah, I'm up in Northern California, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna have to do an audit either way. But the, but that's a good point. Thanks for tuning in. Join us every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for live Q and A and bonus content after the recording at SellerRoundtable.com. Sponsored by the ultimate software tool for Amazon sales and growth, SellerSEO.com and AmazingAtHome.com.